Hello listeners, this episode of our talk is a more philosophical and slightly provocative reading of the 17th century artist Vermeer and his most famous and most liked painting, The Girl with the Pearl Earring. In the Netherlands, the Rijksmuseum Amsterdam, is the largest retrospective of Vermeer in history. Johannes Vermeer was born in 1632 and he passed in 1675. He lived in Delft his whole life. He presumably received lessons from Karel Fabricius, 1622 till 1654, or Leonard Brahma, 1596 to 1674. His father, Vermeer's father, had an art shop and was an art appraiser. And Vermeer took that shop over and earned his income with that. In his whole life, he only painted about 36 paintings. Vermeer started with history pieces from his predecessors, work that was highly in prestige because of the knowledge and the preparation needed. Vermeer's work is small and can be seen as snapshots of 17th century life. Much has been written about him and his painting technique and presumable optical devices he used. Researchers are still obsessed with his painting technique. Maybe to rule out that he used optical devices. One of the things that makes them think he did is the numerous dots he placed on to capture the moving lights on objects. And with all devices to take a photo, even at high resolution, zooming in, and you see light shapes and dots on objects. On the other hand, Vermeer and Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, who invented the microscope, lived in close vicinity of each other. So the possibility is there. However, if he used optical devices or even the camera obscura, it does not interest me so much. Artists, since even the Renaissance, used technical devices to speed things up, if necessary. What is more important is not how he painted those snapshots, or maybe you can say filmic scenes frozen in time in the 17th century. What interests me is the way philosopher Michel Foucault looked at art, not as art historian or scientific researcher scanning a painting on almost every level possible, going deep into the skin of a painting to find the process of the painter. Foucault wrote several works, and one of them is about the Spanish painter Velázquez. Foucault approaches Las Meninas, a complex theater of gazes, networks, relationships, and interdependent meanings, or, as he would say, choreographies of power. He observes the painter and the models, and the viewer, us. What does it mean, and in relation to power, Foucault's main focus, how does that relate to one of the most beloved paintings of Vermeer, the girl with the pearl earring? I was never quite aware that that, that one painting is so loved. But since the exhibition is on, and we are able to look at paintings in a close-up online, something struck me. Vermeer used mostly women to pose for him. For him, it were probably, or maybe, members of his family. The girl with a pearl earring normally hangs in the Mauritz house, and on their website they say that this particular portrait is a so-called troni. A troni was a fantasy portrait, and they were particular popular in that 17th century. They depict an exaggerated or characteristic facial expression. They were made for study. I like to propose the idea that she was not a trony, but a real model. It is too sensual and nuanced to solely sprout out of a fantasy. That the art world was dominated by men is well known. If it weren't commissions done by men, for men, they used female models. 
And in later years, this became even more apparent, and paintings seen as groundbreaking always seemed to have women who posed in a particular way. One of those is by the Impressionist Manet, Le Déjeuner sur l'herbe, made between 1862 and 1863. It depicts dressed men and one naked woman and one dressed on a picnic. The thing that made this painting shocking was the undressed woman in the front directly looked at us. She gazes straight in the faces of the viewers, really focuses outside of the frame. That wasn't done, but back to the 17th century and Vermeer's The Girl with the Pearl Earring, what is it that up until today keeps this particular painting so popular? The girl's not naked. She's standing in front of the very familiar left side light source you can see in all Vermeer's paintings, with the focus on her face in full light. She has an exotic hair wrap. The colors are striking and much used by Vermeer. But that's not it. It is the way she gazes at us, at the painter at first when he painted her. The eyes look at Vermeer and the viewer in a very seducing way. The mouth is slightly open and the lips are wet. Her eyes are focused towards us, looking straight at you. Something that years later made that painting of Manet a great shock. Why? Because models never look straight at the viewer outside of the frame. You always see them looking sideways, up, down, or at another model. Even in Las Meninas by Velasquez, the theater of gazes are placed in a way that they never really provoke the viewer. But here we see a 17th century painter painted a girl gazing straight into your face. This shows even more what Foucault wrote about, the theater of gazes, the relationships and the choreographies of power at play. Vermeer has the power to paint her and depict her with that specific gaze. His paintbrush reproduces what he sees and slowly but surely he creates a relationship with the object. Girl. Simultaneously, there is a relationship of the object towards Vermeer. They gaze at each other. The girl provokes him with her gaze. It is a very powerful gaze, and the interplay with the eyes and the seductive, slightly open mouth keeps the painter at first and the viewers later gazing at her, and she keeps gazing back at them. It is obviously that this is a portrait painted with that one light source, but a dark background to make her come to life even more, to bring that her face, to bring that part of her face to the forefront, the eyes and the mouth in direct focus for the viewer. The girl draws her public in and she not only provocatively was born out of the fantasy and gaze of Vermeer, she played with him. And to me, that is the reason why she is the most liked work by Vermeer. The girl with the pearl earring has seduced viewers of which I probably can say mostly men, for centuries. And if women were defined by the male gaze, it is this girl who, born out of the mind and paintbrush of Vermeer, still plays with all those who gaze at her. She gazes back and will try to seduce everyone who stares at her. Unfortunately, the exhibition is already sold out. But the website of the Rijksmuseum has more information and they also show their research for those interested in that part. If you have questions, ask me. If you want to reflect on this, please do. I like a good discussion. Thank you all for listening. You can follow me on Instagram, Karin Rijks Feyenoord. 
En je kan ook support this podcast on Patreon, Karin's Art Talk. I will put the links in the show notes. I wish you all a very lovely week and a very uh, productive week. And speak to you next week. Bye.